This is natural selection, lesson 3.1, activity 4. So in this activity, you are going to be using the simulation, and so I need to show you a little bit before you do. So you will be using the mutations introduction down here. So we're going to load that. And then I'm going to press next until I reach the menu for Australopes. And I can turn on mutations for fur. So we only have a fur trait here. And I can turn on and off the mutation. So I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm going to press run. And then if I zoom in, I can try to find an Australope that has a mutation. And to do that, you can see there's this red dot, and then the closer I get, oh, it's running away from me. The closer I get, it has an M in it, and then it just disappeared. So anyways, to find an Australope with the mutation, you will look for one that has a red dot on it. Um, so you are going to be so mutations are a natural process that is always occurring in the world and mutations in real life do not have an on and off switch so the sim allows us to do this so that we can learn more about natural selection with and without mutations also the mutations happen more often in the sim than in real life and in reality mutations that introduce new traits are very rare and they cannot be controlled or made to happen. And so again, here we see mutations um, with the red dots. And so those are the, you can now see some more, one there, one there. Um, that's what you're gonna be looking for in this sim activity. All right, so that's how you're going to be running this. I'm gonna go back to the activity and we're gonna take a look at some of the instructions. So these two populations of Australopes should look familiar. You investigated them earlier in the unit. Um, the individuals in population B all have traits of low fur. The populations, po the population has low variation of fur because there's only a couple traits, and its environment is becoming colder. To explore the effect of mutations on populations, you're going to investigate this population of Australopes again, and this time you will have mutations turned on for fur traits. So remember that mutations are random, and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to conduct multiple tests. So your goal here is to to observe a mutation, and so if you don't observe it, you might have to do multiple tests because they are going to occur randomly. So the first thing you're going to do is drag these to where they go. And then you're going to make a prediction about what you think will happen to population B when they experience mutations and when their environment gets colder. So remember, this is just a prediction. Um, so it's not about being right. You're going to be able to test it. And so you still want to try to answer it the best you can. But remember, this is a prediction that you're doing here. So you, once you're done with the predictions, then you're just going to follow these instructions. Open the sim. Make sure you go to the mutations introduction. Change the environment. Turn the fur trait mutations on etc and then you take a screenshot of the population histogram population at generation one and 70 and then upload it in here remember we're looking for a mutation um, and then based on that you're going to answer these questions so you want to make sure to pay special attention to the Australope fur trait histograms while the sim is running um, because if you see a mutation, then um, you'll want to make sure that you're looking for that. So, again, do answer this, record your prediction, run the simulation, upload your screenshot, and then answer these 
three questions based on um, what you observed.